Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters is probably not going to come out ever. Ah! Kukuri. T-O-K-U. Toku. Yes, guys. Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters is on DVD. The day that I thought would never come. But yes, this cult classic, and by cult I mean pretty much the people on DTR and some random people in the PR fandom show. And oh, if you haven't watched it, it's an experience. It's like B-movie fun. This is the kind of thing they would riff on Mystery Science Theater and have a great time. This is not high quality television, but it's fun television. We'll probably review a few episodes on DTR at some point, but I'm here to show you the DVD. And yes, here it is, 40 episodes, the whole series released by Media DHX, although that's just the, the Umbrella Corporation. It's actually Mill Creek, which you can't actually see. Just the focus there. There you go. There's the spine and there's the back. Ooh, the back which is a sort of cartoony image of the main person that they all form into. I don't know where they got that stock one. I guess the same place is where they got the, uh, actually, hold on. This is, this is the Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters lunchbox. It actually is kind of similar. Huh. Who knew? By the way, yes, I do own the Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills lunchbox. Yes, it does exist. But anyway, we're going to talk about this. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Now, once again, I'm used to be Cookie Jar, now Media DHX. They put out this whole series, 40 episodes. What does it look like inside? That's the real question. Well, you know what? We're going to take a look. And you're like, wait a minute. Why is there only one disc? You know, it's funny. I actually got a text from Dan of Dan's Toku Rants, and he was like, Seamus, they're all stacked on top of each other. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Now I'm going to try my best to show this off. There, you know what? I'm actually, I'm just going to show it closer. Adjust the focus. There you go. Now, I'm gonna be really careful here. They're actually stacked all on top of each other. I don't need to show you them all to get that effect, but suffice it to say, actually, you know what? I'm gonna to try to show you guys what is going on here. Look at that, yep. All stacked on top of each other, gotta love it. And some people, you know, may complain about this. They may be like, oh no, I don't like this. I don't like how this looks. You know, some people are just, they're gonna be mad about it. And you know what? That's okay, actually. Getting them back in here is, is a little difficult. Um, maybe this is not such a great feature. But honestly, with the price of this set, and oh good lord, it's low, what do you expect? I mean, yeah, I mean, people, you know, moaned and complained about, you know, the whole Mill Creek sleeve thing, but once again, if this is how we're gonna get the series, I don't really care. I thought this was doomed to YouTube encode hell. But no, we've got it officially on DVD, and you know, fairly nice quality. You know, it's, it's nice, you know, and I'll throw up a few, you know, images of the menu, stuff like that. Nothing really to write home about, but it's something, you know, it's... This show is out, guys. I can't recommend it enough. It's basically a spoof on Power Rangers only about a year after Power Rangers came out, and it's kind of marvelous. You know, there's a freaking episode called... Let me read off some of the ep these episode titles, by the way. One is called Take Two Galactic Sentinels and Call Nimbar in the Morning, and my personal favorite... Beverly Hills 902 Oblivion. But yes, Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters, what more can you ask for? But in addition, I'm not just gonna talk about Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters. On around the same time, Mill Creek finished. Superhuman Samurai, yay. So if you got the first volume, look at that. You can now own the complete series. Oh my God, we own all of, Tattoo, all of Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad is on DVD. My God, and if you're wondering, yes, they're all stacked on top of each other. Get over it, people. We have the series. Good Lord, it's here. I'm not gonna talk about it much because there's not a whole lot to say. All the episodes are there. Oh, I guess I could show you the back. They keep saying Sam is a computer programmer. He's not a computer programmer. This is not difficult to figure out. But you know what? At the end of the day, not a really big deal. But hey, you know what? Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters is the big get. The big get. And we have it. It's here. Ah! Okay, fine. Some of you asked me about this when it was in the background of another video, and I'll show you, okay? I'm about to show you the inside of the lunchbox. And by the inside, it's the inside is blue, but yes, the Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighter Thermos. My God, why? Why do I own this, you may ask? If you've listened to DTR, you probably know why, to be perfectly honest. 
But hey, you know what? Whatever. So yes, Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters on DVD. Yes guys, Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters is out on DVD. And Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad is complete too? Just think about a few years ago. I mean, I never would have thought these shows would come out. I mean, it's amazing. And you know what? If we support these releases, maybe Mill Creek will finish things like Beetleborgs and maybe they'll even finish things like VR Troopers. I mean, I'm not saying that if you buy these, we'll get more of VR Troopers and Beetleborgs, but you never know. If we support Ameritoku, they'll want to get more. Maybe, I don't know, but you got to vote with your dollars. And maybe, just maybe, if this sells, we'll get another Ameritoku.